kind of what was uh, – how did you feel as the, the day progressed? You know, I, I talked to Coach Hobbs earlier, and I told him that it felt really good, even though I had already thrown on Friday. And, um, you know, I think just – him being able to trust me to go out there and, and throw a lot of pitches was big time. Um, you know, I, I had pretty much all my off speed working, um, and so I was allowed to, allowed to get a lot of swings and misses, um, and then just really good defense behind me making plays allowed me to go out there and just continue to throw. You thought you might pitch, but were you surprised that you pitched as much as you did? Um, no, I, I, you know, just the start of spring practice, I'd kind of been that middle guy that was extended a little bit more than some of the other relievers, so I was I was kind of ready to. So maybe take on a little bit longer of a role, but no, it wasn't surprising to me that, that they continued to let me pitch. It's Brady three for three. Just kind of what were you saying up there today as far as what you're um, – You know, I thought the other team did a really good job of, of pitching and keeping us on our toes. Um, you know, when the wind blows in, sometimes you can't hit them out, hit them far, and so sometimes you got to play a little small ball, even though that might not be your game. Sometimes you just got to hit the pitcher's pitch. I mean, off the loss Friday, I mean, did that add any pressure to the weekend or add any incentive or anything? Yeah, I think that kind of surprised us, kind of fired us up and woke us up. Um, you know, it's it's definitely something that, you know, it hurt a little because, you know, opening day we didn't come out with energy and we came out kind of flat. And so the last two days have been really good and I felt like we gave good energy and, you know, we played pretty well. What did you think about your two strike approach, or uh, yeah, two out approach? Because I think three of your RBI hits. I'm not talking about just yours, but as a team, three of your four run scoring hits came with two outs. Yeah, sometimes you just got to put in play. Good things happen. Uh, you know, I f feel like we're a really good uh, two two out team. We were last year, and you know, I think it starts with culture. I mean, wanting to get the runs, wanting to win, um, getting Cole some some runs, some breathing room, and. You know, I think we're going to end up being really good at it this year. Well, Greg, the first RBI hit that he had, I think he fouled off a couple of two-strike pitches and then got one to hit. How big was that for you guys to, to get a run there and get on the board, get tied? Just for Yeah, it really started us. And, you know, we were looking for that spark, and you, Greg, Greg started it off for us. And, you know, we just keep it rolling, keep it rolling. And I think, you know, as the season goes on and – as we play a little more with each other, you know, we're going to get rolling and we're going to start, you know, stacking the at-bats. Cole, what did you think of Jackson's start today? I think it was big time. You know, he, him just going out there and filling up the stuff, looking at it, you see that he's got, you know, he, he let up five hits, but he was able to keep everyone else at bay, um, not letting anyone else uh, come in. So I think it was, I think it was a big time start for him. I think this will really uh, boost his confidence. I think you'll just continue to see him get better throughout the year, and I think it's it's really going to help us a lot. Um, it's going to help us in the bullpen as well, just by him going out there and being able to con continue to throw strikes and continue to get outs um, and just going deep into the game. I think it was a really good start for Jackson. Peyton, before you walked in, I asked Brady about the, the two-out approach today by the team. What, what did you think of that? And then for you to get that first hit, how big of a – I mean, would that feel like a monkey off your back or anything? Yeah, I mean, for sure. Just coming into a place like this is, is a blessing first off. And, and just to kind of get that off my chest as far as getting that first hit, um, you know, I kind of told the coach and some of the players, it was almost kind of like I was chasing a hit instead of just letting it come to me. And today I felt a lot more confident in the box. and. And uh, just kind of let the pitches come to me instead of trying to go get them. And, um, but yeah, the, the two strike hitting, the, the two out hitting was, mm -hmm. was phenomenal today. And it's something that uh, we kind of talked about the past two days as far as not being able to do that in the first two games. And we really stepped it up today. Hey, how do you feel co uh, comfort level defensively at first base, a position that you hadn't played before? Um, you know, starting off in the fall, um, I want to say it was like one of the first fall World Series games that we had. I kind of went over there. Coach Van Horn put me over there, and and um, ever since then I've just gained confidence each and every day. Um, you know, guys like Brady has, has helped me and taught me a lot being over there, and um, mm -hmm. you know, just kind of like I said, just the more I'm over there, the more confident, more comfortable I am. Yesterday afternoon, Coach Van Horn said that James McCann might come in and, and speak with you guys. Did any of you get a chance to interact with him this weekend? And if so, what was that like? Uh, he came in and talked to all the hitters and, and the catchers. Uh, today he had a lot of a lot of wisdom a lot of you know things that he learned for you know being in the big league so long and a lot of it was really good stuff and you know it's something that not a lot of guys get to hear especially in their college career early 
and they were things that he said that he wished you had known um, that he was saying to us. So I think it was really cool to see a, a big leaguer, you know, coming in, uh, you know, tell us all his kind of secrets. <laughs> Cole, I, I, I don't think you threw a ton of pitches on Friday, but is this kind of a role you see yourself having this year, a guy that could pitch multiple times on a weekend? Absolutely, and I think that's uh, kind of what me and Coach Hobbs had talked about a little bit was he had kind of asked me, you know, if, if I had thrown Friday, um, would I be able to come back and bounce back and be able to throw again? And, um, and, I, and I would love to take on that role. You know, I think it's something that I could be really good at. Um, you know, I've got a really good defense behind me. I've got people that can, that can help me get outs, but I definitely think that um, – Pitching two times a weekend is something that I would want to do for us. For Cole or Brady, uh, last year you guys played Simo and Murray State here, and they were real tight series, kind of like this one. Some of the older guys last year talked about how that helped prepare you for conference. Do you feel like this series, did it, did it feel like either of those two? And how do you feel like maybe playing tight you know, games here in the opening weekend might help you move forward? Yeah, I, uh, I definitely think so. You know, Illinois State, they're a, they're a very veteran, veteran heavy team. They've got a really good a lot of really good players. They don't get they don't get rattled easily. You know they're they're very stable in everything they do. And um, I think just being able to play close games early in the year really helps us when we get into conference play. You know, there's no easy weekend ever in the SEC. So I think just being able to to play some really good competition early in the year, get used to playing to where we're it's a one two and two uh, run game. Um, I think it's just a big time confidence builder for us. Yeah, um, Simo, Murray State. Illinois State, I mean, they're all really good. They're all really good programs. Run and you know they all had older guys on it. Very veteran club. Uh, they know what they're good at. Um, they definitely, you know, pushed us both years, uh, last year and this year, and you know it, it really helps out us, especially the younger guys that uh, you know get to compete for the first time here. And you know it's good for us in the long run. Thank you.